Hello guys, this is TexPal, and today I'm doing a tutorial on Project Stardust. This is a game with Star Wars, Halo, and you know, it, it's got some cool things. But, a lot of people don't know how to play the game. Yeah, like, the controls are, it says in the bottom left, once you join the game, it says hold H for controls, but a lot of people don't do that. And a lot of people are confused about the other aspects of the game, so I decided to make a tutorial on it. But, uh, when you start off, you can, you start off owning this ship on the Star Wars side, this ship on this side, and then on the Halo side, you have, you start off with this ship. Now, each one has, like, different, like, pro like different ways of playing the game, but uh, on the Halo, most of their ships don't have shields, but they have, like, you know, big damage and big speed. Th these ships, some people can use them good, I, I don't really see much use in them, because they have really they have some pretty low health but pretty high speed um and their damage is i guess pretty good but i usually go between stars and halo ships and you start off with this one and to get the next one you have to you have to kill or do damage with the ship whenever you do damage you get xp you see it's, um the 44000 xp after a certain amount of xp you can spend credits which you also get on like the next ship, so then after this, I I grinded XP for on that ship and was able to get this ship, and then you know I continue grinding and you can spend it on different parts of the focus tree. Now this game has something called free XP, which like see stars XP right there. I have zero because I already used it, but on Halo I have I have some free free XP, and what you can use the free XP for is see there's two thousand free XP. And it's it's called Halo XP right there, but I usually just type in a large number because it saves the number. So like when you come back later in the same, if you don't leave the server, you can just click convert and it, see it, the XP comes over here onto the ship. So and you get this in the same way as you get that XP. It just kind of gives it to you as you go along. Now as you see, it like keeps it. So if you're like grinding and not switching servers, it's good to like if you're wanting to switch it to different ships. Now for this next part, I'm going to use my big ship to teach you how different parts of the game work, like as in the actual game. Now, you have to hold R to bring your speed up, and you'll start going directly forward, as you see. And you can click to fire, and in like, the guns, if I zoom in and turn off the MGUI, um, the guns, they turn, like, they actually rotate. You can't really see them that much on this one. But, like, the, the guns rotate, which is how you, like, shoot. And it, like, goes, we're there. For example, if someone's underneath me, I really can't shoot them because I don't have that many under guns, so I can't shoot them. And then if you hold H, R is how you speed up, as I said before, but F is, holding F is how you, um, you know, turn down the speed. But I'm, I'm going to turn it back up. Now, with the actual controls of, like, moving the vehicle... You know, you hold D and you turn, you start turning right, and you hold A, you hold A and you start turning left, and then it's like reversed for these, or if you hold W, you go down, and then you hold S to go up. I don't know why, but I feel like those should be changed, but I'm okay with it, to be honest. And if you want to do a barrel roll, you just hold Q to go to the left, and you hold E to go to the right. And if you hold shift, you can zoom in and, like, you know, snipe people if you want. Now, left control is how you, like, mouse lock. Like, you see how my mouse is locked in the middle if you want to do that. And then, if you click left alt, it does this. It gives you the cinematic view. So you can see all sorts of things. And you can still shoot in this mode. Just, this is something you'll use for a thumbnail. As in, like, I'm going to use this for, um, to make my thumbnail. Because it's just so cinematic. It makes the game look really cool. And it's just, it's, it's honestly one of my favorite things about the game. And when you have fighters, you can click idle launch. And then, like, you'll start launching all the fighters, as you can see. And then you click defend, and they'll start defending you. And if you click attack, you, like, select targets. And, like, you can select targets and have them charge it and attack it. Now, on the side... The only one of these buttons that actually know what it does, these two I've clicked and turned on and off, it doesn't change. But this one is how you respawn. It's basically just a reset button. And as you see up there, it doesn't go against your team. But this is the menu you get. The damage dealt. Well, if you do a lot of damage, you'll get more credits and you'll get more 
ship XP. And there's the challenges you can do on the left. And um, your your credits and your gold move over to every single thing. So you 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 don't just have all the credits for this. Like you can I can move all the credits I got from the starships and use them on other ships. And the VIP server I used in this video will be linked in the description and the pinned comment. Uh, thank you for watching. Join my Discord server if you want more of this game. I'll probably stream on Discord, like in a channel, me playing this game, because I find it very fun. And if you want more videos of this game, like and subscribe. Have a great day, and do not get sick. Getting sick is illegal.